Hi, my golden friend. This is the highlight of game of Richard Rapport and Prague, 16 year old um, Indian grandmaster, uh, a very strong youngster with a bright future. This game features very nice end game, and this is just highlight. I don't analyze all moves, only at important moment I pause and talk a little bit, not too much. Let's go forward. This is a Nimzu Indian game, and Black sacrifice a pawn to develop, and usually white doesn't hold on the win and the one pawn, but in this game, Richard Rapport holds the pawn and it worked. And right now, Richard Rapport is up a pawn, it's a double pawn, but it's still pawn is a pawn. After a series of maneuver, we arrived to a position that Black has two pass um, has an advanced pass pawn, but the pawn chain is very weak, has two pawns, and it's uh easy to attack this chain and at this moment uh, we will see a massive exchange between the two and let's analyze the game quickly at this part uh, white is up a pawn and it's very good pawn actually but very down development and black also has a pass pawn and defended very well but uh, there is no easy way to push that pawn. So white should develop and then first attacks, develop the bishop, moves the knight away to be enable the king to come out. And now rook is also free and gives up the pawn because white needs activity. White needs activity for its pieces. He's good with the pawns, gives back one of the pawns, but he doesn't have activity. On the other hand, White's pawn are a little bit stronger than Black's pawn, even though both of them have the uh, same amount of pawns, but the uh, C pawn and B pawn of White are too strong. So this F file is open and it's very bad for Prague because enables to uh, White to use the rook at the right moment. No White attacks the uh, chain of pawn of Black and Black tries to defend with all forces, after some maneuvers, we will finally see that um, uh, White's rook goes to the open f while attacking the weak f pawn. And finally, Black gives up a f pawn, and this is very important for White because uh, the rook comes to the 7th rank and attacks the b pawn and creates a pass pawn. You are wondering what happens to the d pawn of Black? Can, can't he? Can't black push it and make it a queen? Not really, because white can simply stop it with the knight. So the game continues with some more maneuvers. And I don't know why Richard Rapport didn't capture the pawn, anyways, uh, or didn't offer exchange of rooks. Anyways, we go forward. Even giving this piece, it doesn't matter because we have a very, very strong pass pawn. And Black doesn't have any pass pawn, so a piece up doesn't help because you cannot sacrifice a piece to win those three pass pawns. You can win one of them, two of them, not three of them. So, and white starts to march the pawns forward, and you see these pass pawns are monster, and there is no way to stop them. Proctorized a few more moves, but. It doesn't help and here Prague has nothing to play with and finally resigns. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.